Nico, I... Don't bother. Kinda just want to be left alone. At least we tried. Save it for a speech. I'm tired. We can talk tomorrow, when you are feeling better. Yeah, right. Might be a while. I will be here. But Wanda won't. Rules are like... Ileana, are you okay? My best friend just tried to murder me. What do you think? Maybe we should consider Wanda is too dangerous to save. How dare you? I am sorry. I just... Leave. Before I say something I will regret. I have too many regrets this evening already. Good night, then. Good? There is nothing good about this night, Hunter. Nothing good at all. Hunter, if you're looking for caretaker, she went to her room. Caretaker? It is Hunter. Leave me be. I'm not exactly in the mood for visitors right now. Yeah, and she uh, made it very clear she doesn't want to be disturbed. She's uh, pretty upset. We really screwed up, didn't we? I knew we shouldn't have gone messing with that mirror. It seems there's a competition going on to see who can reprimand the young sons the harshest. Are you participating? I'm really glad everyone made it back safe and sound, which is impressive on its own. Trying an incantation like that at their level. <laughs> One might think they would ask for a Sorcerer Supreme's guiding hand. I am sure that they now know it would have been better with you there. Kind of you, Hunter. I kept my composure, but I care for Wanda. It was under my watch that she was taken. There is nothing more I want than to make this right. Even if the outcome wasn't as hoped, we now know what has happened to her. I've been hearing her voice, but each time it grows fainter. By the great Agamotto, we'll bring her back to us. And here I thought we were finally starting to trust each other. They went behind our backs. Nearly cost us everything. They were trying to save their friend. Like any of us would do. Please, I would never do anything that reckless. Do you even hear the words coming out of your mouth anymore? I would never do anything that reckless, given the stakes. Really? Okay, fine. I would never do anything that reckless today. I give that a solid maybe. FYI, everybody at Stark Industries would be upset with what you did. Me? Not so much. Took the fight to Lilith, huh? Next time? Scattering our forces by going rogue hinders more than helps. Whew. You look like hell, dear. I suppose you must feel like it too after these very rough few days. I am not worried about me. I am more concerned with how everyone else is faring. 
Not well, obviously. I am sorry you were unable to save Wanda, but at least you tried. I can't help but feel responsible for how things played out. Perhaps I pushed you too hard to save her too soon, before you, Nico, and Magic were ready. What happened was not your responsibility. We chose to betray Sarah's trust and put the lives of everyone here in jeopardy. You did not make us. Yes. But if it wasn't for me emboldening you, we may have avoided this whole mess. I cannot get Wanda out of my head now. Seeing her like that... I know I did not know her before she fell, but she was in so much pain. It permeated from her. I could feel it tear right through me. I just wish I could have freed her from it. I know, dear. Me too. Maybe you'll get a chance to again. In the meantime, don't beat yourself up about it too much. And remember how much Sarah and I love you. Need something, dear? Nobody likes feeling stuck on the sidelines, but we have to battle our impulses to win the war. There's my hunter. I'm worried about Nico and Magic. I think they're in shock or something. We're all in shock. It's gonna take some time for us to pull it back together. Don't you think, with all my knowledge, all my expertise, I could have helped save Wanda? No. Why? Because we do not trust you, Strange. Your problem, Magic, is that you don't trust anyone. Why should I? Where were you when Wanda was taken? What have you or any of the other Avengers done to rescue her? I thought we resolved this already. There was nothing any of us could do. No, you resolved it out of your mind. We acted. And had you elicited my help, you might have succeeded. Please. You Avengers would only have gotten in our way. I suppose we'll never know now, will we? And people say Tony's ego's big. <sighs> Enough of this. I have to attend to some issues in limbo. Someone has to make sure we have safe passage through space-time. Now who is running from a fight, Ileana? <sighs> I try not to be someone who equates youth with folly. I wish Ileana would not look at someone with a lifetime of experience and assume incompetence. Perhaps there was more I could have done to save Wanda. But until I get back into my sanctum, I cannot see everything I once did. Magic just does not understand what you have been through, Doctor. Of course she doesn't. She hasn't experienced an inkling of the universe that I have. Then why let this bother you? You know why? I... I just don't feel complete without the sanctum and all its prophetic perks. Like I'm not quite myself. So you can no longer peer into the future. But that is not where your true value lies. Maybe it is time to reframe your place in the world. Perhaps you're right. But I do not know where to start. You can start by realizing you are the Sorcerer Supreme. No matter where you rest your head. Thank you, Hunter, for your wise counsel. 
Now, if you will excuse me, this Sorcerer Supreme needs to figure out a way to save us from this mess. How's it going, boss? This never gets old. What do you think? Don't forget to write. So, word on the street is that the Abbey just got a massive shipment of artisan sodas. I thought we could throw a couple back, like partners on the force in one of those buddy cop movies. Throw back. Ah, yes, like a toast? Agatha was quite fond of them. Rad idea. Know any good ones? Well, my Asgardian is quite rusty, but I suppose I could try. Of course, I would need some sort of goblet to throw into the mirror, and a nice sharp axe for the bl How about I go first just to set a nice safe benchmark? So, what flavor soda can I get you? There is more than one flavor? Oh, yeah. There's Thor's Thirst, Black Widow Bubbles, Loki Lime, Radioactive Rockinberry. Radioactive what? You know what? You just chill there, and I'll pick one out for you, partner. So like, Hunter, uh, don't let this go to your head, but I think you're okay. You do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I see you trying to make me feel included, and I thought I should take a moment to thank you for not leaving me out. Caretaker makes me feel like a child sometimes, but you don't, so, like, thanks. Caretaker sees herself as the matriarch of this team, and as a maternal figure, she tends to be protective of her own. Ugh, oh, seriously, Hunter? Are you suggesting she's just being overprotective of me? Or just protective. Gah, you know what? Never mind. I came out here to thank you for putting your trust in me, and I'm determined to keep it positive. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I see you making an effort to not make me feel like a complete reject, and I appreciate that. I need all the allies I can get on this apocalyptic reality show because I do not want to get voted out of this abbey or off this world. Reality show? Vote? Just try and not get eliminated, Hunter. Hello. 
You mow kids for life. Nico, what are you doing in Wanda's room? What does it look like? Ileana said this grimoire is filled with pretty powerful magic. There's gotta be something in here. Something to break the stupid spell your mother cast over Wanda so, you know, we can all go back to being normal. To being friends again. Blood Witch, Daywalker, Spirit of Vengeance, former Queen of Limbo, and the Child of Lilith. I doubt anyone would ever accuse the Midnight Suns of being normal. Dark magic always comes with a price, Nico. Just be sure you are willing to pay it. Uh, hello, Blood Witch. Without going too TMI on you, let's just say I know all about the cost of doing business. Your magic demands your blood. The magic in that book may have a different hunger. It is not just your life you are playing with anymore. Hey, you went through that mirror with us, Hunter. If I recall, I was sucked inside after trying to stop the vortex you created. I was trying to save our friend for all the good that did me. It all made sense in my head. We'd find Wanda, smack around a few Hydra dirt bags, bring her back to the Abbey, and Caretaker would bake her a cake. I wasn't exactly envisioning Wanda trying to murder us. Or you trying to do the same thing to her. The Wanda you know would never hurt you, and I would never hurt her. This was... someone else. Must be nice to tell yourself that. I bet it makes it a lot easier to release them of whatever you want to call it when you put them down. Sorry, but I'm not buying that, Hunter. Well, that was before you had me on your side. How about you give me a chance before you start swinging your sword next time, huh? You have my word. Good, because I'm gonna hold you to that. Well, unless you have anything to add to this free Wanda brainstorming sesh, I should get back to her grimoire. I'm not leaving one page unturned until I find a way of bringing her back to her senses. Till then, later. The hunter stalks its prey. Any new leads? Here's the latest from Hydra World. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. If we had some rookies, I'd say send them out for the experience. But I think we're past that. that thanks hunter Whatever that device is, Hydra would rather destroy it than allow us to capture it for analysis. Don't waste any time. Take them out before they can do any serious damage. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them.
thing is pretty stale. Got any new material? Nice. You've attracted some unwanted attention from the Fallen. Just what we needed. Perhaps if someone fed the creature, it would stop complaining so much. is on our side. You've done me a great favor. Magic on our side, Doctor. Shotgun, I remember me. Let's see how tough 
Is it the alien or the man that causes it to talk like that? It is unsettling. Stronger already. Here we go. How to improve the odds? Attention. My respect for Spider-Man grows every time I am forced to look into this creature's drooling maw.
Prepare yourself! Weak, even for Hydra. to pay for that. <laughs> I have felt this once before. Take them down together! First time for everything. This battle requires. your age. Blade told me to mention your mother. Apparently, she's promiscuous.
Let me show you. I am impressed. Dim. Let's try this. Looks like we've acquired some new hardware courtesy of Hydra. Good work. A few of us are meeting up tonight. It's a book club. You're probably busy, but if not, the other said I should invite you. A book club? Yeah, I didn't figure the great and powerful hunter would be into a book club. Is a book club some form of weapon? Do you strike with the spine? You hear that? That's the sound of Agatha rolling in her grave. Book clubs are simple. You read books and talk about them. Sometimes there's punch. Anyway, I'm headed to the meeting. I doubt it's your thing, but if you're interested, you could tag along. After you. Okay then. I know about as much as you. Blade put this together. He's the person to ask. Blade's giving you the stink eye. Or maybe he doesn't like the punch. Either way, I think he wants to speak with you. Here's how this works. We pick out a book, we read the book, and then next meeting we talk about the book. It's my turn to pick, so give me a minute. I need to narrow it down. Did you already talk about today's book? Well, no. There isn't one for today. What kind of book is a book club book? The good ones. That's the plan, at least. What is the best book you have read so far? Uh, none. You have not read any books, but you are starting a book club? Hunter, I've read half the books in the library. I have too many favorites to list. I meant I have no book club favorites yet.
You are being evasive, and I do not know why. This is technically our first meeting. Oh, I thought this was a regular thing you did. Yeah, I wanted to be. Doesn't matter how sharp your weapons are if your mind is as dull as a brick. Just give me some space. I need to find the right book if I'm going to. I need to pick the right book, okay? All right. I hope I have time for this. I used to be in one of these with my friend Jess, but it fell apart. What happened? I got reassigned, she had a kid, aliens invaded, the usual. Aliens? Yeah, it's been a busy decade. This is the first book club I've been to that didn't devolve into a knockdown, drag out fight. Must have been some book club. A few years back, Bruce and Tony started an Avengers literature circle. First book chosen was Banner's favorite. Tony hated it, said it was the worst poetry he'd ever read, that a mascara blinded lab monkey could have written it better. I still don't know what that means. Turned out, it wasn't Banner's favorite book, it was Hulk's. Oh no. We lost two floors of Avengers Tower before he calmed down. What happened next? Black Widow invoked the this is why we can't have nice things rule and banned book clubs from meeting at the tower. All right, I made my decision. So what is it going to be? The first book we'll read for book club will be The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Ooh, a classic. Yep, that's an old book. Way older than The Hunter. How old is this book? 5th century BCE. Ancient and still relevant. Can you give me a quick summary? It's about war. Come on, Hunter. Cannot wait to check it out. Was that a library pun? I do not know. How would you say it stacks up? Stop. Right now, or so help me, I will ban you from book club. Anyway. Our time is tight. I get it. But stop by the library and read the book before the next meeting. But I hope you read the whole thing. This book is one of my favorites. The katana gave that away. <laughs> yeah, I'm always around if you want to chat about it. Ah, I'll save it for the next book club. I could chat about it. Uh, nah, I'm good. Hunter. I admit, I like the low pressure approach we're taking to book club. These things should be fun and informative. Not the high-stakes powder keg of the Stark and Banner book club regime. What did you think of the meeting? Seems like a great way to get to know each other. What do you think about Blade's choice of book? It got me thinking about a book I can choose. It'll have to be a good one to match Blade's pick. See you later. Next time, then. I think that went well. Carol seemed to enjoy herself. What do you think? Blade, did you start a book club so Carol would join it? No. Yes. Sort of. We were talking about books, and I may have suggested the two of us read a book and talk about it. Captain America overheard and expressed interest. Carol said I was starting a book club, and he asked if he could join. Then what? What was I supposed to do? Say no to Captain America? Knowledge is the key to a person's heart. You think? It might be the key to Carol's heart. The key to mine is a silver stake, 
so you got the better end of the deal. Glad you came, Hunter, but don't forget to do the reading. All right, I will. I'm not kidding. What are you up so late reading? The twisted brain drippings of that psycho Faustus? This journal is like a love letter to Aleister Crowley, the Necronomicon, Jack the Ripper, and Charles Manson, all remixed into some nightmarish open mic poetry. I'm going to be up all night trying to make sense of it, see if it helps us find our way back into the sanctum. You are exhausted, Carol. Get some rest. You can crack Faustus's code tomorrow. It's not that I don't appreciate the sentiment, Hunter, but I'll tap out when I'm ready. Besides, if I went to sleep right now, this nightmare juice would be sure to terrorize me with bad dreams. And when I say bad dreams, I don't mean Lovecraftian demons or Cenobites. I mean being stuck at a 12-hour poetry slam in the East Village. You know, real horror. Listen to this crap. Lilith, your name is a black hole for men like me to lose their souls. How I await to be suffocated in your arms, choke on the dark tendrils of your hair. Murder me, goddess, and I will help you murder this dimension. These are just the ramblings of a madman. No rhyme or reason to be found. There must be something helpful here. Well, I ought to get back to burning the midnight oil. I got about 400 pages to go of this crap. I'll let you know what I find out. Do you think your mom thinks I'm the corrupting influence on you, or is it the other way around? Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He'd love this place. Hunt... Magic, are you all right? No, Hunter, I am not. And neither is Limbo. The dark energy is increasing. This danger you feel... Have you given more thought to what could be causing it? Yes, but I do not want to say it out loud. Would it be easier to write it down, then? <laughs> I see what you did there, Hunter. But no, writing his name down would feel like I was summoning him. Words have power. I do not want to give him any more than he already has. He? If I am right, you will see soon enough. But tonight, that's all I can say. I must meditate on Hydra, the Sanctum, and our recent battle. I fear Miss Minoru is her own worst enemy. How so? She tries to take charge of the Midnight Suns, but she won't decide for anyone. For her, it must be a consensus before she trusts herself to move forward. So? Most of us are blind to our faults. At least Nico is aware of hers. Are you saying you could recognize your own tendencies towards self-destruction? I rely on my companions to reveal what I cannot perceive. Interesting. Should they ever present themselves, I shall.
A joy to spend time with you, Hunter. Wait here, girl. Good morning, Hunter. Got a minute to chat? You wanted to speak, Captain America? Please, call me Steve or Cap. I know I'm a newer kid on the block, but I'm noticing some major divisions within this team. All the interpersonal drama is pulling focus from the real danger, Lilith. I have witnessed the divisions, and I must do a better job of resolving the conflicts at hand. Hardest lessons hit the closest to our hearts. Leading others is never straightforward or easy. It's definitely not all on your shoulders, but I respect you for taking accountability. Don't forget that you're the only one of us who's beaten Lilith and paid the ultimate price for it. You stand out here as a leader. The Midnight Suns, Strange, Carol, Tony, even me. We all look to you for our cues. It's a responsibility. And it's a tough one. I have been a weapon all my life, to be wielded and directed by others. Leadership ability is not my forte. I would appreciate a few pointers. Just the fact that you're willing to learn means you're on the right track. Perhaps I can figure out how to lead as I go. Yeah. We all have to do that to a degree, but it's gonna take more than winging it to see us through. Everyone else is wandering around trying to figure it out. Leaders need a direction. Finding true north and forging ahead despite the obstacles. That's what it's about. And believe me, it's tough to get everyone marching in the same direction. You've already made the ultimate sacrifice once before. I've been there. 
I know what it's like to be asked to do it again and again. It doesn't get easier, but you get stronger and better at making the hard calls. I've given you a lot to process, but let's pick up this conversation again soon. The Abbey's too big to feel like a barracks, no matter how many we recruit. Glad to have you with us. That looks good. Nice shirt. Too bad you had to die for it. How's it going, boss? Let's see what we got here. Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. My undivided attention. In this reality, here, it's not entirely worthless. It's not. The research is progressed. I'm here if you need me. <laughs> <laughs> 